Well, I think that what is more ready to be used is looking at it as a indice of minimal residual disease, being able to track tumor at a very low level. And there are actually are companies out there now that will, that will offer a CT DNA test that will allow you to actually track it, such that if you have someone at the end of therapy, particularly again, this is mostly large cell, where we, uh, our goal is to cure, that if you're concerned about the tumor still being there, but you don't see anything on CT, you can actually me measure this. And so that's the most immediate uh, use of this. Now, we did a study that showed in a very large co cohort that it works very well, but you need to do it in a prospective manner. And so that study is ongoing now. So I do know that there are physicians out there using this, but I would say that until we actually validate it in a prospective manner, uh, it's by, by no means standard.